This is actually a web app, a PWA app running on iOS, powered by Safari. And I use it to look at, you know, the COVID statistics, whatever. But the funny thing is, I enjoy the app. My wife actually asked me to share it with her. And I was like, hmm, how do you share this? I, I just, I couldn't figure out what the URL was because when it's a PWA app, the URL is sadly gone. And um, I, I ultimately just couldn't share it with, with my wife <laughs> until someone told me that you can actually get the bookmark out by holding down the icon and, and clicking share. Now, I have a problem with my own app, the, uh, the, the Singapore bus arrival app, in the sense that it finds your closest bus stop. But if you share that with somebody, you're like essentially sharing your closest bus stop, which doesn't make a lot of sense. And I only just learned that there is um, a web share API which actually works. And I just got it working here. I can show you. So essentially, now if I share that in an email or something, instead of getting the, the full URL that has the name of the, uh, the bus stop, it's just the bus stop, the, 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 the host name or whatever. I can configure it to however I want. But I'm just fun, finding it amazing that Safari supports this essentially or iOS rather. So I'm almost tempted to write to coronavirus app. In fact, I did already saying that they should perhaps use the web share API from the that's standardized here so that they can share their web app that kind of masquerades as a native app, which as you can see, like the coronavirus app and my bus app, it's not a terrible experience. If you like this, give it a like. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.